I remember when they announced that there would be a reboot. Everyone yeah. thought, okay, big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. You guys have stolen the show. Is it what you imagined it would be? It is exactly what I imagined it would be because the show was intended to give people hope and inspire them. And especially in the time we're at right now, people are not talking to each other. Families are divided because of politics, because of all these issues. And for me, especially the one who works on the emotional and mental side of it, is how can I give people tips to feel better about their lives and know that they can live their best lives? Right. And so knowing that I had this platform to do that, it's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. And part of your journey was that you you became the first openly gay black man on reality TV. I did, yeah. That was the real world Philadelphia. Look at that. Look at that little. Look at that baby. Face, boy. <laughs> really, I haven't seen that photo forever. Yeah, I mean, what blows my mind about when you say things like being the first is that that was in 2004. Yeah. Which just shows how much representation and visibility, how important that is. Because there's still a need for more people of the LGBTQIA community to be seen. There's more a need for more women to be seen in television. There's a need for more um, people of color, mm -hmm. for more different religious backgrounds. Because our world is so rich and diverse. Yeah. And people need to hear these stories. And that's why I love about your show, because you do that. Well, that's what I love about, you know, Philadelphia, I've also lived in in Chicago, I always tell people, listen, if you allow me to be an unapologetic black woman, you are allowed to be unapologetic Irish, Amen. Jewish, Amen. Italian, Christian, whatever you are. Yeah. I don't care white or black, but let each other celebrate who we are. Yeah. I was riding home and I started reading this book and I had just those ugly tears because <laughs> it's so beautiful because you do repeatedly say, you are perfectly designed. Yeah. You're yeah. the way that you are meant to be. Yes. Every flaw, every perfect, everything is perfect yeah. about you. I mean, because we live in a society right now where kids, and even us as adults, we're inundated with messages that tell us that the way we look, the way we sound, the way that we, everything is wrong. Yeah. And so if you can just remind yourself that you are perfectly designed, that is the key to helping yourself feel more confident about who you are. And I wanted him to feel that just as a young age. And we did a show um, last week on, uh, fluidity and how kids are talking more mm -hmm. to their parents about sexuality in yes. this new way. Yes. And you told your father you were pansexual. Yes, I am. What does that mean? So it means basically I'm attracted to whoever I love. So you can be man, woman, cisgender, uh, you can be trans man, uh, trans woman, anyone. And you told your dad? Late. Late. Put him late, yes. <laughs> hey, you didn't tell me early. I tell my friends first. Yeah. Which is so interesting because your dad is the first black male who <laughs> came out on TV, yeah. and then you told him late. Yeah, I just had this whole perception. So I, I was trying to, I was just so comfortable within my own sexuality at first that I would just kind of spread them out in jokes and be like, hey, yeah. He would come in the house and make a whole bunch of jokes, talking about, dad, ha, 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 and I'd be like, ha, ha, okay. But, you know, because there was no direct conversation. Was so, it hard obviously. to talk with your son about sex? I mean, they always talk about the birds and the bees. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, well, I have always, 18 years. We've always been having open conversations yeah. about sex since yeah. he was younger, just because I didn't have anybody talking to me about mm. sex. That's why I have, <laughs> I'm, you know, have a kid now. <laughs> and so uh, I wanted yeah. to make sure that I was talking to him about it. Um, but the thing was is that what I think is mo I want people to know is that even though I'm a gay man, when he said he identifies pansexual, I had no idea what that meant. I had to go to Google really quickly and <laughs> figure out what it meant. I was like, I was like, okay, son. And I was like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? <laughs> and then like, I had to be the one, as he'll tell you, to break it to the rest of the family because we have a very Southern yeah. black family. And they were like, what is this? Yeah. What are you talking about? Black or white. I think most Any, people hadn't anyone. heard of yes. it. You're like, yes. what does that mean? Yes. Well, in the book, as I said, I started crying because at the end of the book, you said the character Jason says, dad, when I grow up, up and leave home, will you miss me? And you say, yes, very much. Will you go into my room and play with my race cars and stuffed animals? You said, you know I will. <laughs> I was like, oh! <laughs> my son is seven months and he's gonna leave me one day. <laughs> You are going to be an empty nester soon. Oh, I already got oh, him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. He's I already, gone. I already got him out. I already got him out. I got him out. So He's gone. I, I'm telling you, it's because you're in the early phase. Let me tell you something. Once he hit about... <laughs> oh, wait. Once he hit about... Hey, Dad! Dad, y'all know! Once he hit about 17... Now, honestly, I, I, love, I love him to come over. He comes over all the time for dinner, comes over just to hang. All the time. But then I'm like, it's 11 o'clock, you don't want to go back to your house? You sure? <laughs> uh, but no, it's, it is, it's, it's, it's one of those things where as a parent, you never want to let go because you never want to send your child into this big, scary world. Yeah. You always want to be there to protect them. But at the same rate, I know that I've instilled in him what he needs so that he can walk through this world confidently and know he's perfectly designed Aww. and actually inspire other people to do good. Oh, I love you. Bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>